Mary Jane, as a professional investor, how would you express how you think about climate change in ESG? As many of us know, climate change is one of the most significant challenges that our generation and future generations will have to deal with in our lives. For example, we have seen ramifications of climate change in our weather patterns, in the increased frequency and intensity of natural disasters, such as record-setting droughts, tsunamis, hurricanes, prolonged flooding, massive wildfires, and so on. Through ESG investing, which is to integrate material and relevant ESG factors into the investment analysis and investment decision making, we can find many investment opportunities to mitigate risks related to climate change and support other investment opportunities to address solutions. So how do you play these themes in your strategy? For us, the key with climate change and other societal themes is that the investment lens needs to be diversified. So this scope of the investable universe spans across all sectors, not just renewables or clean technology. If we think about the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs as one framework, we can see where investments can be mapped to climate change for a variety of SDGs. To give you a short example, if we think of SDG number six, clean water and sanitation, climate change has an impact on the global water crisis. And as countries develop and populations grow, industry will become the main user of water, not individuals. According to the United Nations Environment Program, half the world will face severe water stress by 2030. There are companies partnering for the application of digital technology to help companies pursue net zero and profitability in different industries like food beverage, manufacturing, and data center operations. So finally, with reference to climate change, Mary Jane, what do you think investors should absolutely bear in mind? Again, we believe a diversified approach to investment solutions is the most pragmatic way to involve investments addressing climate change. And we know these investments can impact all sectors. And active investor engagement is key to encouraging companies to set their own pathways toward decarbonization, like discussing net zero targets in company meetings. We also think investors should continue to press for disclosure and set goals by 2050, as well as interim time periods. Thank you. Those are great insights.